Dream back with another video and um, as you can see by the title I'm gonna give you a nursery tour of my baby boys nursery Um, some of you might be uh, wondering uh, how long I am. I am 37 weeks pregnant. <laughs> Almost to the, uh, the finish line. So your girl might be out of breath, need to take a uh, break, a drink of water and all of that good stuff. And if you see my stomach hanging out, cause baby these pants are gonna end up slide down. Um, mind your business. Okay, period. Um, so I'm gonna take you through the room, show you a couple things that um, I've done and personalized it myself. Um, so just stay tuned and watching and sh I'll show you a before the room and after the room and I'm just so excited and I'm ready for him to be here already. Uh, the countdown is real. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and if you want to see other videos, comment down below. Okay, I'm going to jump right into it. So first off, I'm going to start with the closet. So um, you basically just open it up and you can just feel a little noise. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna try to step out the way and I might end up grabbing the camera so that you all can see in detail of what I've done um, So basically when you walk inside you see like a big a nice masterpiece, you know um, So this is some of the stuff that I have and I'll give you all a close-up on what I've done. So give me a second Okay, so basically this is an outlook of his closet um, I guess I'll start right here with the door I basically just put easy, simple things on this. It's like one of those little shoe racks. You literally hang it on the door. So I have like a couple swaddles, uh, burping cloths, a bunch of things to get him out the tub, like dry towels and different stuff. If it's in a packet, I have not washed it yet. Everything else has been washed and clean. Um, washcloths, washcloths, washcloths. These have been washed. These need to go downstairs, more washcloths. And then the bottom one is basically like little tissues. And like, these are like the little free things you get like when you register uh, online or whatnot. Okay, and then moving on to the top and my husband's man cave. And on the bottom is full of diapers and wipes and different essentials. It's just so much and I'm so grateful for my baby shower. So moving on, um, I got these little things for each uh, like months, like zero to three, uh, six to nine over here, three to six, I'm all in the way of the light, three to six and nine to 12, 12 to 18 months. Uh, I actually bought those at TJ Maxx and then um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna end up doing with this shelf stuff, but it's just a couple of essentials. Some of them I had like duplicates, so it's just like the extras. A little backpack with his name on it, which I absolutely love. This pail is full of like um, um, teething rings and uh, pacifiers. And it's just a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff in here. And then on this row, it's a bunch of like free to baby and free to mama stuff, uh, breast storage, milk pads. This is so cute. This is an inside joke and it'll make a kiss noise. Listen. Oh, I'm gonna kiss my baby. Okay, let me get out of this before I start doing that. Um, 
Okay, moving on to this draw. It's actually labeled socks, mittens, and then bibs and bandana bibs. So pretty much, like I said earlier, all of the stuff that is not in packaging, I've already tore the tags off and washed. Um, the stuff that's in packaging, it needs to be washed. So the rest of these socks and little stuff comes in handy. And then moving down, um, have a bunch of little hats. So it's a bunch in here, uh, different colors and all kinds, you know, babies come with me hats, those are washed as well. These are some little toys that came in with his, uh, the gift that I got for his like little tub. That was actually free from when I registered and then just some like little knickknacks. Then moving down here, it is shoes. So he has a lot of cute little shoes. And then this is a little box that something came in and you can just store stuff in it. I actually don't have anything in it, but it just pulls out. This is the same thing, one of those little cubes that you can undo. But like I said, I don't have nothing in either one of them. So I just slid that there until I can figure that out. And then of course the rest of this is just filled up, like I say, with plenty of pampers, wipes, bibs, clothes, all kinds of stuff. Like the whole thing is just crazy full. So moving on, once you close this is his bookshelf. So I actually got the letters from Hobby Lobby and they came actually in like the, the weird color of like the beige color. I'm sorry. And I just painted them and I wanted like the kind of wood feeling so it can match like the theme of the room. So I just painted those. Then he ordered this bookshelf thing that goes that fits right behind the closet door offline so it fits perfectly i can open this closet up and it doesn't even hit and then a bunch of these books i went od on ordering and a lot um i mean a bunch of these books i went od on and some of these were actually gifts for his baby shower so if you see your book shout out your book i will be reading to my baby and then if i just move on over here this is his crib of course, nothing will be inside of it once he gets here. I've actually changed these bed sheets three or four times already. And of course, I'll be able, I'll take all of this kind of stuff out of it because it's like a caution. So this was also installed with the crib. And this little sheet, I got um, thinking that it was a crib sheet, like the big size, and it's a small one. So I just used it for this. Um, some little teddy bears from friends and family. And I think... Well, this one came from one from my best friend and these two came off other blankets that I bought. And I think on this changing table, I'm gonna use like the little pads like this so that he doesn't pee through all of this, even though underneath here, it's like, uh, you can wipe it down, but I don't want the stuff to get nasty. So moving on into the drawers, I have, when you pull out the first one, Pampers, a bunch of newborn Pampers and Pampers wipes. So it's easy accessible for, put the baby in there and change them. And then the second one is kind of like um, receiving blankets. It's just a bunch of them rolled up and pushed all to the back. A uh, little safety drawer with different stuff like uh, where you can feed them like medicines and teeth and brushes. And I have the little free to suction thing in that closet. Clippers, nail fillers, like the little thermometer, something to feed them with like the medicine spoon and stuff. A brush, this, he just has a lot of cute little stuff. So it's a little safety kit in here. Then last but not least on this is a bunch of bedding. So basically a bunch of fitting sheets. All of this stuff has been washed. Um, see what's what I meant? This one came with like the little elephant that was up there. And then it's another one that does the same thing. So he has plenty of blankets and he has more in my room as well. So I just kind of stuffed those in now. We might have to end up turning this into a bigger section. Okay, this was at my baby shower. Huge lion, he is huge. When I say huge, he is huge. So um, that's just like more so for the theme and decoration. I'm sure once the baby gets bigger, he'll be laying on them and pulling all on them, pulling them down. Okay, get into this glider. This is washed too. I just, I'm just obsessed with using his blankets, but really. But, um, this glider is ooh, perfect oh my gosh it easily it goes that it goes side to side you can swivel 
left and right. Um, these cup holders can be taken out and changed and washed. Um, to pull it out, you can go in the inside of this little thing you pull. <sighs> you can lay back. Just relaxing. I plan on probably breastfeeding in here. And also this thing comes with a massage and heating. Okay? Okay, get into it. So you can sit here and get a full massage. It comes with heat. Um, this comes from Amazon. I actually can link the link below in the description box. And honey, it's just a good glider. Like I like I wanted a glider and not a rocking chair just so if you know once the baby gets old enough to crawl on the floor and play with stuff, I don't want him to stick his fingers in there and like you know. So this is just easier. In the drawers, it kind of went a little a smidge of OCD as well. Um, in the drawers, they are labeled and everything by like size and everything. Everything's been washed and uh Let me show you. Okay, so this is kind of how I have his set up. Um, as you can see, I label things like newborn pants. Look how little. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look how little. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Okay, first time, mommy. Um, the preemies, they're like this area, which I don't think I'm going to have a preemie baby. Regular newborn onesies and then newborn onesies with like long sleeves. I think that's a shorts set. And then the same thing with this side. It moves over from like zero to three months. Um, the regular onesies, so they're already folded and washed and everything. Then the long sleeves. Um, I think these don't have anything. They're just regular shirts. That's just put back there. And then you have zero to three month shorts and pants. So that's that and that. And then moving on to the next ones. It's almost pretty much the same thing for zero to three. And then this is the three months. This is shorts onesies. So like the little ones that's a onesie, but it's actually shorts. And then just regular three, one, three month onesies. I just split them up into two. This dry is basically, I'm gonna fill it up more, but one is pants, just regular pants with like no booties attached. And then this side will be with the booties attached to the end. These are ready to go outfits. So if I am like <laughs> ready to go. I need to get something real quick. Like they already have like the top and the pants that go with them. A top and the pants that go with it. Top and the pants and some of them even have hats. It's just ready to go. So you ready to go? I'm ready to go. And then same thing with this. I have like jackets and sweaters. Extra bunch. Like these are a bunch. I have so many. And then three to um, six month onesies. And then last but not least nine month shirts so it's just literally regular shirts and i don't need i didn't even wash all of this stuff it's, most of it still just have the tags on them and then it's little shorts in the middle and then six to nine months onesies the same thing with these a lot of these aren't washed it's just so many um hung up in the closet and in here that is so much this is his bathtub it's like a four in one And then this thing is, we were going to get the one that you change on the dresser, but we ended up getting this gift um, with the one that's connected to the side of it. So most likely I'm going to end up using it somewhere else where the downstairs are in our room. And basically, oh, um, so we have a humidifier here and then a couple pictures of us. Girl, I was cute. <laughs> I was cute. <laughs> This is the laundry pail that he would have. It looks really cheap because it kind of was. It was off Amazon. Um, I guess to review it, it's, it's nice. It has like these little things, but it's just like paperish kind of. But it'll do. I just wanted something leafy kind of to match the room. This is actually supposed to be in the wall. But um, yeah, we haven't done any of the safety stuff yet, which I have a kit for that. So will be safe to find pretty much everything everything so i guess just to go ahead and say stuff that i have over here a couple bobby pillows which this one shouldn't be on the floor because i washed this one 
this one's brand new. I need to wash the cover on this one, but when I opened it, it didn't even have like a zipper to take it off. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I need to install this with the light and music on my car. Uh, well, my truck. <laughs> um, this thing shapes his head. Um, I have tents, so I really probably really don't need that. Um, this the thing is gonna make his like hand and feet feet prints, and I'll be able to hang this up in his room. Of course, the little thing that catches like wet stuff. The camera that I need to set up. Two diaper bags that I need to start to get ready once the baby is actually here. A little swinging set he's too small for. And then a couple of tummy time things. So like this one and then we have like a huge one back here that he could use. And so, and it's a bunch of stuff and it sings and talks and this and that. He probably won't use this thing for a while, but I'm obsessed and I'm probably going to be using it more than he is because I'm super competitive and I'm not letting him win just because he a baby. No. Um, and then the little thing that you can, you know, put him in a, a basket, which I probably won't be going out with him no time soon. And then one of these, he has a bunch of stuff everywhere. And then behind the crib, it has like these openings. So... It's a crap load of wipes. And then down here is like cleaning supplies and stuff for the diaper genie and wipes and dress cleanings and different stuff. And here is the diaper genie. It's actually already set up, I think. Um, you just push this and then, you know, of course, put all the dirty diapers in there, close it up, and that's how that works. So that's this little section of the floor. I just have no place. Well, I have places for it, but I just don't. <laughs> want to open it right now so that's that little section all right so basically that is my tour of my nursery i hope you all like get inspired or if you're a new mother like me go all out it's your first baby don't let the other people ruin it for you and say oh you know you're not gonna need that you're not gonna need this do what you have to do to enjoy your experience for your baby so that's pretty much my nursery thank you all so much for watching i can't wait to add like the last little pieces and fill up the humidifier and you know actually be able to put them in here even though he won't spend most of his nights and time in here for the first couple months anyway um i might do a bedside tour that's in my master room so if you want to see that as well let me know down in the comments but other than that that's pretty much my nursery um let me know what ideas you like to use or if you end up doing your own let me know what you ended up doing uh don't forget to stay safe like comment and subscribe let's get it let's go